Hi everybody. Okay, I promised you some more stuff with stick pins. So <clears throat> these are two pin cushions that I made. This one here is made out of a teacup. I made this a long time ago. This is over 20 years old and I don't remember where I got the cup from, but I got it from somewhere and I had some scraps of velvet and some old buttons, so I made it into a pin cushion. And I'm going to show you how to do the basic pin cushion this part. Um, for the leaves and the stem, I just folded the velvet um, until it was a leaf shape and, and then glued it down. And the stem is just a thin piece of velvet wrapped around a pipe cleaner or chenille stem I think they're called now I guess I just dated myself um, and then these these are um, Victorian hat pins I have had them longer than I've had the cup um, and then some just some old pins from like uh, my husband's wedding um, corsage and I mean boutonniere and things like that um, and this actually lives on its saucer in my bedroom um, this is one that I just made to hold my stick pin collection. This um, container here I got at Goodwill. It was $2.49. Um, I like the green color and I have this cotton fabric with butterflies on it. One of them is a green that kind of goes with the dish so that was kind of cool. And um, I just um, put this together and turned it into a giant um, pin cushion to hold my stick pin collection. So when I was at Goodwill, <coughs> I also picked up these two little bowls and they were $1.49 for the pair. So we're going to turn them both into um, more um, pin cushions because I have more stick pins and um, these are going to hold the stick pins that I'm going to actually sell some of my stick pins. So these are going to hold the ones that are for sale. So. You're going to need some fabric, some cotton batting, some stuffing or polyfill, whatever you want to call it, um, a hot glue gun, some other kind of epoxy or cement, some scissors and a needle and thread. Okay? So the first thing to do is cut your fabric for your pin cushion. I'm going to do one out of this fabric and then I'm going to do <coughs> one out of this fabric. Let's see. Okay. So then I just lay the container upside down and I give two or three inches all the way around and then I just literally just whack off a piece. I don't measure anything. Okay. So then we need a piece of the cotton batting, the same size or nearly the same size as the fabric. And while we're here, we'll just cut another piece for the other bowl. Then a whole bunch of polyfill. Yeah, that's about right. So I have my needle and thread with a knot at the end, and I'm going to start in the middle of one side, and I'm going to move my polyfill. I'm going to gather, just do big gathering stitches, they don't have to be perfect. As I get to the corner, I'm going to sort of cut off the corner. And I know you're thinking, well, why don't you just round off the piece of fabric and batting and do it in a circle? Well, you could do that, but the extra fabric and batting from the corner um, is going to help stuff up the bottom of the pincushion 
without having to add tons of extra polyfill. So I just leave it on there. And it's not going to show when it's done, when all is said and done. So your stitches can be big, they can be uneven, they don't have to be perfect, they're not going to show. Okay. Keep going. It's going to start to curve up like a bowl. That's what you want. get close to the other side, Oops. I am going to try to catch my knot. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. So now we have this. It's like a bowl. So now we're going to stuff our batting in there. Okay. And we're going to pull it tight. Oops. And tie it off into a knot. And before you do anything else and you break out the glue, check and see how it's going to look in your bowl. Okay. Now sometimes when I've done these, you have to put something on top <laughs> to hold it down. This one's really puffy. I think it's going to work well. So the first thing you do is you put some epoxy or cement or whatever you're using in the bottom of the bowl. And ultimately this is what's going to hold your pin cushion in, okay? But it takes a long time to dry. So to hold it down while the epoxy is drying, you're going to pull your what is now a ball of polyfill back and you're going to put some hot glue and then you're going to put it back and hold it for a second. I need another glue stick. I had one out here. Of course I dropped it. Okay. And the glue stick is not going to really hold it down ultimately. In fact, at some point it would peel off. You only have it on there temporarily while the cement dries. Hot glue is not made to stick to non-porous surfaces, so that's not going to happen. you just fluff it sort of looks like a muffin they always sort of look like muffins or in this case it kind of looks like a pot pie there's some adhesive on the side of the bowl from the tape that was where they taped the um, price tag on it from Goodwill let's see if I can get it off So the 
the thing about the hot glue too is if you don't like the way the edges are looking, you can move the hot glue and break it and put some new hot glue down there. I think I mentioned in another video that hot glue makes me crazy. I don't like the strings. So then once you have it manipulated the way you want, then you just fill it up with your pins. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through making the other one and I'll be right back.
Okay, so here is uh, one way to display your stick pins. Um, and definitely if you're going to make stick pins and sell them and do any shows, you could just have them like this in your studio or in storage. And when you're ready to do the show, all you have to do is take the little jar out and stick it on the table, which works really well. You'll notice on this one I wasn't super happy with the way the edge turned out, so I added some vintage lace I had and a few flowers. Now, I, now I'm more happy with it. So anyway, um, give this a shot and see what you think. And... Um, look around your house or at your local thrift store for a container to turn into a pin cushion for your stick pin collection. All right, I will be back. I have um, two more ways that you can store, gift, or display your stick pins, and I will be back with those next two ways in in um, shortly, <laughs> in a little bit. All right, don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Bye.